We are now in Quarter 1, Module 4, Simplifying Rational Algebraic Expressions. Learning competency, the learners will be able to, number 1, express the rational expression into its simplest form. Letter B, apply cancellation property in simplifying rational expression. And last, analyze the given expressions carefully, like in simplifying or reducing fractions into lowest term. Simplifying rational expressions is said to be in simplest form if the numerator and the denominator is relatively prime or it has no common factor except 1. So we can use cancellation method since any number divided by itself is equal to 1. Are you ready? Let's go! One, two, three, come on! Let's have number 1. Simplify 7x plus 21 over 35y. So first step is factor the numerator and the denominator completely. Since our denominator is already simplified, so let's simplify now the numerator. So to simplify this, let's factor 7x plus 21 using common monomial factor. So let's factor out 7. So it will become 7 times the quantity so let's divide 7 in each term so 7x divided by 7 so that is x 21 divided by 7 is equal to positive 3 over 35y next divide the numerator and the denominator by the common factor so 7 and 35 have common factor ang common factor nila is 7 so using uh, cancellation so, 7 will become 1, 7 divided by 7, and then 35 divided by 7, so this is equal to 5. So, now, let's multiply. So, 1 times x plus 3, so this is equal to x plus 3 over, so 5 times y, so this is 5y. Our final answer now is x plus 3 over 5y. Okay, so let's answer number 2. 5x y raised to 4 over 40x cubed y squared. So to simplify this, we will use the quotient of power. And let's divide out 5 and 40 using their common factor. So in 5 and 40, the greatest common factor is 5. So 5 divided by 5, so 5 become 1. 40 divided by 5, so 40 become 8. So, in the literal coefficient x, so let's divide x divided by x cubed. So, subtract natin yung exponent nila. So, 3 minus 1. So, that is 2. So, x will become 1 and x cubed will become x squared. Then, y raised to 4 and then divided by y squared. So, 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. So, y squared become 1. And y raised to 4 become y squared. And then let's multiply. So 1 times 1 times y squared. So this is equal to y squared over 8 times x squared times 1. So this is equal to 8x squared. So our answer now is y squared over 8x squared. Okay, so let's have number 3. y minus 7 over 7 minus y. So, ang gagawin muna natin dito is, iparehas natin yung position ng variable tsaka ng constant natin. So, ang mangyayari, so, y minus 7 over, so, si negative y, ililipat natin sa first term, so, negative y plus 7. Next, so, y minus 7 over, so, sa negative y plus 7, i-factor out natin yung negative 1. So, negative times the quantity, so, negative y divided by negative 1, so, that is equal to y, and then positive 7 divided by negative 1, so, this is equal to negative 7 or minus 7. So, our equation now is y minus 7 over negative y minus 7. And now, let's divide out yung common binomial natin na y minus 7. 
So, y minus 7 will become 1. And y minus 7 sa denominator equal din siya sa 1. So, our final answer is 1 over negative 1 or equal to negative 1. Ah. Okay, so let's have number 4. Let's simplify m squared minus 9 all over m squared plus 5m plus 6. So, to solve this or to simplify this, so let's factor m squared minus 9 using difference of 2 squares. And m squared plus 5m plus 6 using general trinomial where a is equal to 1. And the factor of m squared minus 9, so this is equal to m plus 3 times the quantity m minus 3 over, so yung factor ni m squared plus 5m plus 6, so using yung last term, so ano yung factors ng 6 na kapag pinag-add natin, ang sagot is positive 5. So, that is 2 times 3. Tama? So, ang factor ngayon natin dito is m plus 2 times the quantity m plus 3. And now, let's divide out yung common binomial. In dividing out, alam natin na pag same si denominator at si numerator, so equal to 1 na yun. So, yung m plus 3 natin, so this is equal to 1. Then, yung m plus 3 sa denominator, so this is also equal to 1. So, let's multiply. So, 1 times m minus 3. So, this equal to m minus 3 over. So, m plus 2 times 1. So, this is equal to m plus 2. So, our final answer is m minus 3 all over m plus 2. Okay, last. Number 5. So, let's simplify b squared minus 49 all over 7b plus b squared. So, yung numerator natin, let's factor this using difference of two squares. And then, yung denominator natin using common monomial factor. So, yung factor ni b squared minus 49. So, this is equal to b plus 7 times the quantity b minus 7. Over, so yung 7b plus b squared, ang common factor nila is b. So, let's factor out b. And, and then, to find the other factor, let's divide b in each term. So, 7b divided by b. So, this is 7. Then, positive b squared divided by b. So, that is positive b. Now, so, meron common binomial tayo dito. Yung b plus 7, tsaka yung 7 plus b dun sa denominator. So, same lang yan. Kasi alam natin sa commutative property ng addition, same lang yan. So, let's divide out yung common binomial. So, b plus 7 will become 1. And then, yung 7 plus b. So, this is equal to 1. So, let's multiply. So, 1 times b minus 7. So, this is equal to b minus 7 over. So, b times 1. So, this is equal to b. So, our final answer is b minus 7 all over b. Power!